Maxney is a waiter in Wichita, Kansas. He's been working at the Doodah Diner, which has the best name of all diners in the history of diners. And apparently, he has had issues with his teeth for a very long time, since he was a kid. He's missing teeth, some of them are infected, and he couldn't afford the dental work because, let's keep it real, dental work is expensive even when you have insurance. So there he is to the right, you see him there. And interestingly enough, the guy to the left is an attorney from out of town who went to the restaurant to have a meal. He noticed that, you know, the waiter had some issues with his teeth, and the attorney, Fred Botchner, realized that, you know what, I had issues with my teeth growing up, and then I became a lawyer and I fixed it. So wouldn't it be awesome if I can help this guy out by tipping him $25,000 so he can get the dental work necessary to have a new smile. So sure enough, he did tip him, and of course he got uh, permission from the manager before he did so. And if you look at the newer pictures of Maxner, he has a new set of lovely teeth. Howdy. I love this story. It <laughs> makes me feel so warm and gushy inside. I just like hearing stories about people helping one another out. There's just a lot of news where people are tearing each other down, you know, when you look at politics, things are really, really bad. But there are so many good humans out there, and this story just makes me feel like humanity is intact, regardless of the bad news that you hear. What do you think? I think it's great, and the attorney who paid for his teeth to get fixed is from Oklahoma, so at least one good story came out of Oklahoma this week, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but uh, he did make the guy travel several times to get his teeth fixed from Wichita to Oklahoma, which is a one-and-a-half-hour drive each way. Oh, <laughs> so, come on, girl. Yeah. Let's, let's keep it real, though. I know, like, I know, I Like, know. beggars can't right. be choosers, it's right? True, it's true, it's yeah. true. <laughs> right. Haas, what do you think? Make your point. For $25,000, I'll travel to Oklahoma a couple times. That's no, that's no problem. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's awesome. I'm just I, I looked at the story and I thought, like, when will I get a random act of kindness? <laughs> right. Because well, I'm selfish like that. <laughs> here's the thing. I, I'm not I don't believe in karma per se, but I think that good things happen to you when you are a good person. And sure. there must have been something that this waiter did that really spoke to the mm -hmm. attorney. All right, so here's the question for the story. If a stranger could just come into your life right now and offer to pay for anything in your life, one thing, what would it be? Um, I mean, I have some cavities, so if that tooth fairy wants to help me out, but see, that's a want. Uh -huh. A need is the new Apple Watch. The new Apple Watch? <laughs> okay, all right. The $10,000 one, like yeah. the really expensive yes. one? Damn, yeah. girl, you gotta aim a little higher, <laughs> okay? They'll pay say. for anything, and you're like, I don't know, dental work, Apple Watch, whatevs. I, I'm, I'm low maintenance. All right, I like that, I like that, though. Haas, what about you? I'm gonna be on the SpaceX private uh, spaceship, space exploration program that's like a million dollar retainer or something like that to get on it. I'm just kidding. I would, I would probably <laughs> help it, uh, ask him to pay for my uh, insane amounts of medical debt that oh, I currently okay. have. Yeah, yeah. I, that or is... Or college loans. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm fortunate enough to have everything that I want in my life. Don't get me wrong, I have a pretty humble apartment. I don't live like high off the hog or anything. But my brother just bought a house and he just got married and you know, it's difficult. I know yeah. he's struggling a little bit. His company is starting to lay people off. So if a stranger could pay for anything, I would have the stranger pay off my brother's house so he doesn't have Sweet. to worry about it anymore. Um, yeah, but it, believe me, if I had something that I need to get paid off, then I'd get, <laughs> I'd get that money for myself. Anyway, tell us what you think. If a stranger could come into your life, what would you have them pay for? We do love hearing from you guys. And remember, we do make videos where we respond to some of your comments. So please feel free to comment in the section below, and we'll see you soon.